create a new notebook and in this notebook we are going to see the how does the select works on PySpark. So we'll see how the select data type data frame function. So this select is called as a data frame function and how it works on PySpark. We are going to see that. So let me create a new notebook. So to start with this notebook, we need some data. So you can create a data frame in two ways. You can create a data frame like spark dot spark dot create data frame data frame. But for this data frame for this code, you need to pass on the data by your own. So you need to manipulate or you need to generate your data okay, by your own. Or there is one more code you can use data frame is equal to spark dot read dot a format for example csv json and then pass on the path but where is the file so we do not have any file so when you are using a community edition databricks is providing some sample data sets for us for practicing so let me write a note here by just writing md so when you write percent md your cell converts to a markdown and let me write so this is about let me use one or two ash so just to have a title for this cell select data frame data frame function okay function we are going to use select data frame function so for that I am pulling out the sample data set. So where is the sample data set? It is in the cloud. So to access that we are using dbutils. So this dbutils is a special feature of Databricks. So let me show you. You can use percent %fsls. So I am listing down all the list down all the file systems which are there inside your dbfs. So when you run percent %fs and ls, yeah, you can see here, you got the list of all the paths which you have in your dbfs. So let me show you here. If I go to data view here and if I click on create table and you can go to your dbfs, here you can see your file store and the user. But when you use percent %fs and ls, you are getting four numbers here four things here one is file store which you already have here one is users but what about these two these two are not here these two are provided by databricks so we are using databricks data sets for our practice okay so we can upload a data by our own in this dbfs we will be doing that in our later sessions but let me show you how to pick the sample data set from the Databricks. So for that, let me copy this path and again write percent %fs ls give a space and just copy the path of Databricks data sets. Yeah, so these are like 55 data sets what Databricks people are providing. You can click on this and just scroll down and you can see it. So let me take one of the data set of bike sharing. So let me copy this again. Let me copy this and let me paste it inside this like percent fsls and let me copy paste here and let me see what is there inside this bike sharing yeah you can see inside their bike sharing you have one file that is data 001 so let me copy this path again and let me see what is there inside that path okay inside that directory so if i run this yeah you are getting you have two files here one is bike sharing data 01 this is daywise dot csv this is r dot csv and you can see the size of the file and you can see when this file has been modified the timestamp is given here yeah i want the path okay i want the path so i will create a data frame data frame from uh, for this bike sharing with this path okay so i'll say spark dot read dot csv i will specify the path so the path should be the directory and at the end it should be the dot csv or whatever the file format is if it is json it should be dot json so copy and paste it here and let me execute this so once i execute this 
your uh, your command starts running and you get a spark jobs here you can see spark jobs and it has executed so to display you need to take an action so you can take data frame dot show or you have one more action yeah you can see c0 c1 c2 these are all your column but in actual your column names are this one like uh, instant tt day season year month holiday and so on so you have one more action so instead of dot show you can use display function display function is a very good function you can see your data frame like a table you can see this looks like a table it looks better than your dot show you can see dot show and this is display so you can use any of that so i'll be using display function to check the data frame but now you can see here hey these are my headers these are my headers but i am not getting any headers because you are not using an option so when you are reading a csv file you need to take an option here option and you just take an option called header and say that i want the headers as true okay let me put a dot and execute okay so let me remove this dot show let me cancel out this yeah let me display use display data frame and now you can see the headers have been promoted and you can you got all your headers that is absolutely good now if i want to see the hey can you please tell me what are the data types so for that let me use print schema print schema function and let me see what are the data types so it should be integer it should be a date date integer integer and again and these are a float and so on but but have a look here so if you see in detail all are showing string 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 because when you are creating a data frame out of a csv file it will not detect the data types so for that we have already seen in our previous sessions so we need to take one more option and we need to say that hey can you please infer schema okay infer schema and you pass that make it to true and let me execute this so once i infer the schema you will be getting two spark job one spark job is for the read transformation second is for the inferring the schema and let me execute this and you check the data types okay so if you are not getting how this code works don't worry we will like see in detail once we start reader and writer api like how to read so what we are doing now is we are looking at the transformations now we are looking only at the transformation okay so just imagine you have this data frame now i want few columns from it like i can give you a simple analogy in sql we write select column names from table name so in pyspark in pyspark we say data frame dot select and give a specific column names so let me give a column names suppose instant let me put that in a string now how i am writing this i don't know like how you might be surprised like how i am writing this i am writing in a string or in what ways so i'll run the help on select so how to run help if i run help so if i say select it will say uh, it is not defined you will get an error you can say select is not defined so when you are using a data frame functions when you are using a data frame functions you need to specify a data frame name inside this so you need to say what is your data frame name yeah it is df right df so if i want to use select so you just say df dot select so let me execute now it will give you the answers like how does the help on select works you can see here it takes star columns it means it takes variable arguments like it takes n number of columns it is a part of pyspark sql data frame and this is important your column can be of string type your column can be of column type your column can be of list type so what i'm trying to say so let me come here yeah so first let me show you it can be of string type yeah obviously it can be a string type like this instance i want three four columns for example then put a comma second string can be your dt 
te day let me copy this and paste it here and put a comma let me call let me take a third column that may be season let me copy this and paste it here beautiful so now let me execute this so i want to select only three columns from that data frame now it has executed you can see you got three columns but where is the result where is the output so no data in pyspark you don't get a result because we know that these are lazily evaluated so this transformation has done has been done so get an output we need to invoke an action so we need to say dot show to get the results you can see here beautiful one two three columns have been invoked so you can do in this way or you can do in this way put all that in a function and you just use display here display let me execute this this also works this also works you can see this or you can take a new data frame name you can take a new data frame name like you can say df1 is equal to and you can call display df1 you can store all this data frame in a new data frame as df1 so you can do any of ways so just to save some time i'll be using dot show or display okay this looks pretty simple for me okay when i'm doing transformation but when i want to finalize the data frame and at that time i'll be using a name data frame one data frame second version and so on now i'm just explaining you so i'll be using dot show okay don't get confused so this is how you can use a string to select the column names so we are trying to see the number of ways you can use select we are trying to learn the pyspark syntax guys so let me show you how you can use the class column so what i mean by class column so let me copy this all let me see the second type so when you are working on a real time in project some might use string type some might use a column type so what does a column type mean so you can use a call function here and specify like this now you might be wondering like hey even though we can do it by string type then why are you going with a column type i will explain you guys don't worry i you will understand clearly why we need this call type so if i execute this you will get an error saying that call is not defined because call is a function so i need to import call so from pyspark dot sql dot functions functions import call function let me execute this and now let me execute this you can see beautiful so i have used two ways this is using a call function this is using a call function this is just using a string it works it works so let me show you another way so just we are trying to learn different syntax in pyspark so instead of call if i use this way for example data frame dot dot instant okay let me see the column name yeah it is instant so i am using data frame dot column name this is a column type this is also a column type this is a string type if i execute this yeah this also works you can see this also works now you might be wondering like why there are so many ways you will get to know in detail once we start going in deep in pyspark so let me tell you one more way so let me pick one more column from here uh, let me take year okay year so that is like this data frame put that in a square bracket like a list and just pass on year okay let me check first yeah it it works it works you can see first column second column third column and fourth column so what i'm trying to say guys when you are using select in pyspark there are four ways you can select the column you can select column in this way this way this way or this way okay so these four are column type and this is your string type i hope you understood this 
how to use a select data frame function thank you for watching this video guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel keep learning